I am going to talk uh, uh, about uh, positional effects in public good provision, a strategic interaction and inertia. And this is a showing paper with uh, Francisco Cavo from the University of, of Valladolid, Alain Chamarie from INRIA, Sophie Antipolis, France, and myself. And um, my co-authors co are here. I think that, uh, of course, you can ask uh, every, the question during the talk, and my co-authors are going to answer you without any problem. Oops. If you do to, I can move. Okay. Uh, positional concern is a central concept in behavioral economics, which takes into account the influence of a social context. Uh, positional concerns are present when utility does not only depend on the own quantity, but also on the quantities chosen by others. In this case, individuals care about their status, which is defined as the they are real, relative position or rank. So uh, the paper uh, in the pa in this paper we ask the the following research question: Could possessional preferences for voluntary contribution to a public good favor players' contributions? And if so, would it necessarily lead to social welfare improvements? To answer this question, we consider a two-player public good game, first in one shot, shot and static game, and then in a simple dynamic game with inertia. And in this case, we put particular attention to the transition path. Only two... Uh, uh, related literature, one um, empirical literature that says that the idea that relate, re, uh, relative income or relative consumption matters is stated by Carlson et al. in 2007. They measure people's perception of the importance of the relative income and consumptions, that is the degree of the positionality, and they found that at least for some goods, positionally matters. And I, this, the, the, this paper is a, a theoretical one, and we extend this paper. This is a paper of Bugherara et al. in 2021. Do positional preferences cause welfare gains? They study uh, a, a public good problem in a static framework, and we extend this model. So the, the outline of the paper is the following. We, I present first the static model, uh, the effect of positional concerns on contribution and on social welfare. Uh, then I present the dynamic model with inertia, uh, uh, some theoretical results that I complete, complete with some simulations to make some conclusions and then to present a lot, a lot of extension, possible extensions. So the static game. Here the ingredient of the static game. We consider that each player is endowed with WE, the quantity WE, and contributes XI, like belong to uh, uh, is greater than zero and smaller than double i. It contributes this quantity to a, a public good. And the pre for defining the preferences, we distinguish two parts in the preferences. The first one is the usual intrinsic utility from the absolute level of contribution. And the other one is the utility associated to with relative contribution. This is a function that depends on the difference of the contributions. And this is the preference utility function for player I. I am going to talk about global intrinsic utility 
as the, the, the sum of the intrinsic utility of each players, and then global utility or social welfare, the sum of the preferences, the global uh, utility of both player when the, the preference part, preferences part is taken into account. A small, a small U is the intrinsic utility and capital U, the uh, utility that take also into account, into account the preferences. The position, position, sorry. So here, the properties of a, a, a public good problem. Uh, the first hypothesis says that individual provision always reduces own welfare. That means that the derivative of the intrinsic utility uh, of uh, player I with respect of, of uh, his contribution is negative. And that means that in this case, the Nash equilibrium is not to, to contribute. This one take into account the intrinsic uh, social welfare, the, the, the intrinsic global utility, and say, and say that individual provision increases social welfare initially, but reduce it when the whole endowments are contributed. That say that uh, in, in intrinsic social uh, utility, we have an interior solution as a contribution. So some contribution to the public good and to the private good are socially desirable. And the last uh, hypothesis is that Asian contribution are substitutes. For our problem, we are going to consider this kind of intrinsic utility that is additively separable function. This is the profit of the private provision of uh, the public, private provision, and, and this one is the, the profit, the, the, gain, the gain of the total uh, public good contrib contribution. This is the intrinsic utility for player I, and this is the global intrinsic solution that depends only on the total quantity of contribution. By the hypothesis that we have made to, in, in this problem, this uh, um, global intrinsic utility have more or less this form, is a con concave function uh, as a function of the uh, total uh, contribution. And this is the value, the sum of the endowments is the value of zero contribution, sorry. And then the utility increase till his maximum value and then decrease. So we can see that uh, cont total contribution must be welfare, intrinsic welfare improving in this region, but intrinsic welfare reduction if the contribution is uh, big. We are going to come back to this uh, picture when trying to analyze the consequence of the positional concerns in intrinsic uh, utility. Now, this is the positional concern. The function is very simple, is a constant multiplied by the difference between the contribution, contribution of player i, minus contribution of play J. And the parameters that I call VIP, that is greater or equal to zero, is the marginal utility, utility play that player I gets from rising his contribution about the contribution of player J and represent his positional concern. In our case, this parameter is going to be the positional concern, and then we are going to analyze the equilibrium and the, cons and the consequence of rising this parameter with respect to uh, the contribution and utility functions. So the problem for player I 
for both players is to maximize here in to find the contribution greater than zero and smaller than wi that maximize his uh, utility function. The marginal utility, utility function of player i is the following. Uh, and, and we can see that uh, by hypothesis, when this parameter is not here, we have that this derivative is negative. That means that we, we will not uh, uh, make zero consumption. But with this parameter, this parameter reduces the marginal cost of private provision. So a public, public provision of public good can now become individually rational for player I. When, when solving this problem, this is the, uh, the fair of the condition for player uh, I, when solving this problem, uh, we can try to, um, to find the solution of this equation. This is the global quantity that independently of player J, player I want to obtain. So the solution of this equation, uh, if um, X belongs to the um, if, um, admissible domain of contribution, that is if capital X is greater than zero, or smaller than W1 plus W2, the solution of this uh, equation I call AI. If this solution is, in, is for VI in this interval, this solution belongs to at the admissible uh, domain. And I define the wished amount as, uh, as the solution of this equation. If, the, 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 if parameter vi is small, the, the wish uh, cont uh, total contribution is zero. And if it's big, great, it's not in this interval, the wish amount is wi. So this is the wish amount uh, of player i. The same for player j, of, of course. Another thing that I, we can see in this, uh, in this equation, this is the profit function of um, uh, for the contribution to the to the public good. Uh, if parameter vi is less than one, that means that we are in the increasing part of this uh, um, um, profit function, and we say that we are in a public public good problem because uh, the marginal utility from the pu public good is positive. But now with VI, if VIP is greater than one, uh, pos positionality is so strong that player gets a positive reward from private provision now. And in equilibrium is only feasible, feasible sorry, for a negative marginal benefit. So the public good uh, is provided in excess and become, becomes a public bad. This is a, a consequence to, to add this um, positional concern. When VIP is less than one, we are in a public good case. When VIP is greater than one, we are in a public bad. So now we can define the equilibrium. The equilibrium is going to depend only on this wish amount, AI, AJ, and in, on, in the, in, on the endowment of the, of the players. If the sum of the endowments are small, smaller than the mean between A1 and A2, then the nice equilibrium is to contribute their endowments. If uh, the wish amount is uh, for both player is zero, the solution, the Nash equilibrium is zero contribution. The nice case is when uh, the total endowment is greater than the minimum between the wished amount. And in this case that I call case B, 
we can uh, distinguish two situations, big one and B2. Big one is the situation where both amount, which amount are the same. And in this case, the set of Nash equilibrium, uh, th there is a multiplicity of Nash equilibrium and uh, all the contribution such that the sum of the contribution is equals to A uh, is an Nash equilibrium of this problem. In the case where AI is greater than AJ and positive, we can here also distinguish three cases. And in what follow, we are interested in this, uh, more or less, uh, in this case in particular. Uh, and in the, all, is the, all the, the equilibrium depends always in the situation of the wished amount and the uh, endowments of the player. You can see also that always the, the, the solution is in one border of the, of the domain, admissible domain. And only in this situation, uh, we have uh, that both player contributes. Here, remember, and in all the, the talk is going to, to, to do the situation, AI is always greater or equal than AG. So we can see the, 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 the Nash equilibrium in, in this, in this uh, graph. And we can see uh, it's, it's not necessary the, to have symmetry in the parameters. Uh, this is the case where always uh, AI is greater than AJ. J. This is the endowments of player I. And this the endowment of player J. And depending on the position of AJ and AI with respect to WE, we have the different situation. When the uh, endowment is very small, uh, uh, we have that the solution is the endowment for both players. And then uh, when A beca becomes to, uh, to go in this direction and the endowment, uh, uh, the wish amount are um, greater enough, we have the case where both players contribute and we can see always also in which situation the contribution of player i is smaller or greater than the contribution of player j and when uh, uh, we move in this direction in in, in this section we have that uh, player i only player i contrib contributes its endowment and, in this, and here, because A, AI is uh, greater than WI, we uh, contribute uh, AI. So here uh, we can also uh, see the, I, I, I will show always this uh, situation, uh, the, the global contribution. In the first case is the contribution, the global contribution is the wish amount of player J. In this situation is the amount, the endowment of player I, and it, this is the wish um, uh, amount of, uh, the wish amount of player I. Okay. Hey. Now, in order to make, um, more computation, uh, we are going to, to give a functional form to the, to the function, to the profit given by the contribution to the public good bi, because uh, all, all, all the, the equilibrium can be defined without given a, a functional form, but, but now in order to have a comparison with um, utilities, we need some specific functional form, and we uh, use this one. Uh, in this case, uh, with this quadratic form, uh, alpha, alpha i can be seen as the weight uh, that player i puts on, on global contribution, because I here, uh, the, 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 
the, the profit function of pro, pro, uh, player i is this one. This is the profit of um, for private uh, contribution. Uh, we can see that but the coefficient here is one, and uh, put in this form uh, to the the, the um, utility from the, uh, the the total contribution. We can think that alpha i is the weight that player i puts on the on the global contribution, and epsilon is a satiation parameter. Thank you, Paco, for, to put uh, this uh, satiation. It's very difficult for me to pronounce. And we can un understand that this parameter, when we greater is epsilon, smaller is the global contribution that uh, gives the maximal utility, intrinsic utility function. And we are this, these are the parameters of the problem uh, with uh, endowments and the positional parameter, these two parameters are the four parameters of our problem. In order to satisfy the condition of the public good problem, uh, we have this condition on the parameters of the utility functions, WI and alpha. And this is the um, uh, global contribution that gives the maximal um, intrinsic utility function. With this uh, formula, uh, functional form, uh, we can find easily the wish amount. The, the wish amount has this, uh, this formula here. And we can see, for example, that uh, this amount, uh, the derivative with rest, the, the, the derivative of the wish amount with respect to the positional concern of player i is always positive and that we obtain a, a positive contribution at uh, when uh, the parameter uh, bip is uh, b enough is greater than among alpha e in order to have this positive another thing that i want to to remark is that um, uh, if VIP is greater than VGP, the wish amount follows the same uh, uh, AI is greater than AG, but it's not an, an if and only if. Uh, only when the alpha are the same, we can say that if uh, we have, because we can say that the uh, people that have a uh, a greater positional concern are going to, 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 to decide for a greater wish amount. It's not all, always the case. That depends also in the parameter alpha, alpha i, and it is only true when both parameters are, are, are the same. Here also we can see that, for example, in one of the cases, we can see that uh, uh, is if BIP is greater than one half, we obtain a wish amount that is greater than the maximal um, contribution uh, in the utility intrinsic utility function. So now, if we want to obtain uh, uh, the, the effect of the positional concern on the global utility of uh, or social welfare, we must to distinguish the, the two parts of the uh, utility function. This is the intrinsic uh, social welfare or the intrinsic uh, global utility function. And this is uh, the, the utility for, in, for the aggregate positional payoff. And when I study what's happened, uh, we uh, must study what happened with the uh, intrinsic utility and the positional effects. Here we, know, we can see that the util, uh, here the utility depends only on the global contribution. So the, the idea is to know where are 
uh, this wish amount in this uh, uh, graph in order to know wh when uh, the, to have positional concern are welfare improving or, or when they are welfare, intrinsic welfare redu reducing. And to see that we can say we can obtain uh, the, the intervals of uh, the positional uh, concerns in each case uh, in order to, to know where uh, we have in uh, intrinsic welfare improving or reducing. I, I show this uh, table in order to say that we can obtain this analytically, but we can see uh, the idea more in this graphic, I think. Because here we have um, uh, two graphics uh, with different values of epsilon, uh, a more great a, a big epsilon here, and small uh, in this uh, in the right. And the idea is to to know when uh, uh, here uh, the, the we have the positional uh, concern of player J, and this the, position, the, 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 the positional parameters of player I. This is a symmetric case. So uh, I con we consider that AI is always greater than AG, J. So in this case, it's, it's, it's equiv equivalent to have VI greater than Vj, this why we all, always have this uh, the solution in this part of the graph, and we can say see the the different cases of um, the the parameters. Because the idea is if when changes the the parameters, we change also the border where each equilibrium holds. So, so here here is the first case of uh, equilibrium, the second, the first, and this is the case where um, zero contribution. And the importance we, we want to know which is the effect of positional concerns on the intrinsic utility. And we want to compare when it's better to have positional concerns for which values of the, the, the parameters, the VI parameters, is better to have positional concerns and to do better than no contribution. Non-contribution is this line, is u, a small u zero. It's here and it's here. So for this epsilon, this is the region where it is better to have um, positional concern because it, uh, it has po it's, it's better than no contribution. In, the, uh, in, in this region, it's not true. But this reaction change with the parameters. I mean, this is the idea here. If epsilon is smaller, the reaction is bigger. You uh, said is here. You said is here. This is the zone where it's uh, better to have a, a positional consent. And also, we, we can see how the domain change, the, 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 the position where the, the different equilibrium are are different because all is moving when changing the, the positional concerns. The same, ah, of course, I only I, I'm not going to, to read this uh, uh, this um, proposition, but only to say that we can quantify the ratio where we have welfare improving, intrinsic welfare improving or not in the case where all is uh, symmetric. But I think that this kind of um, graph is better to understand the, the problem. The same, we can do the, the same with the, glo the, the, the global, so the social welfare, the, the same. We have the two different uh, epsilons uh, and here now is the, uh, the, the case of non-contribution, non zero contribution here. And this is the ratio where the global social welfare is better than the no, no contribution. 
in, in for epsilon, the situation is more or less the same. Here, here this is the, the region where it is better to have positional concepts. Here, the, the graph to, to is for the symmetric case, but we can do the same kind of graph for the non-symmetric case. And analytically, we can prove that uh, the existence of positional concern improves social welfare with respect to the zero contributions utility level, except when the positional concerns are large and sufficiently even. Uh, this later case is easy to understand because in this later case contribute, contributions surpass the, 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 the total quantity where the utility the intrinsic utility function becomes um, welfare reducing and as VIP and VIC are close together, the positional payoff of the two players are not enough to counteract the losses in terms of intrinsic utility. Another thing that we can prove analytically is what happens if we increase the positional concern together. Uh, the effect of a joint increment or in the positional concern of all players says that uh, is inc uh, we increase the moving, increasing both parameters. We are better only if and only if the, the sum of the positional concerns are less than one. If not, they decrease the, the utility function. And all these um, points, we can prove it analytically, not only with given a graph in order to see it. Now I move uh, to the dynamic game. Uh, for the dynamic game, it's a simple dynamic game uh, because we consider that the agents are myopic. Uh, we consider the same um, intrinsic uh, utility function like in the static model. For the positional uh, um, profit, we consider that at time t, a, a positional agent uh, gets joy from contribution above the other player at time t minus one. But we consider also that the agents have some inertia from previous actions. So they get a disutility from deviation from his uh, previous action. And we materially, materialize this disutility with this function. And uh, VII, capital I, is the um, parameter of inertia. We have, as before, the parameter, uh, the positional parameter, and now uh, player I also uh, have, each player uh, has uh, an inertia parameter. And this is the total utility, the, the, the utility of player I. If we uh, call X hat IT the contribution in the in the in for player i in t minus one the problem of each player because we consider a myopic situation is to maximize at each time the, the utility function with this uh, dynamic this is the first order condition of an interior equilibrium and we want to says that we want to know is the asymptotic behavior of the the sequence of contributions, the property of monotonicity in the sequence of individual contribution and total contribution, and also to see what happened with utilities in the transition path. And the first result is that the dynamics converge to the static equilibrium that I presented before. Of course, that's why I presented before the static situation. This is a dynamic, a simple dynamic situation where the steady state is a static equilibrium that I just um, talked about. And the other uh, uh, easy result uh, is that if there is no inertia in the problem, the convergence to the steady state occurs at the first step. 
before you ask me some question, I want to say that we also studied alternative dynamics based or completely in the present, except for, for NERSE, because we want to know what's happening in, in the last period, or completely in the past. And the results are very similar uh, to this one. So, uh, which is nice with this model that we can easily uh, write the free evolution of the system with inertia. And this is the, the evolution of contribution of player I, contribution of player J. I uh, recall, uh, remind that uh, all, always AI is greater than AJ in, in this. Uh, in this situation, in, in the dynamic games uh, also. Uh, here appear some parameters, delta, lambda two, and x star. And we can see the, the, the formula are not uh, are very nice, I can see, I can, I can say. And this is the equation of the total contribution. And uh, we can ask, we can say that we can see that lambda two is greater than zero and is smaller than, than one. So this, uh, the, the total quantity, the total contribution always converge and converge to this quantity that is a convex combination between the uh, wished uh, amount of both players. Of course, uh, you know that uh, this um, model converges to the static problem and we see we have have see uh, that the equilibrium is in the border so uh, we can see in this when ai is um, greater than aj and not equal uh, contribution of player i goes to infinity and contribution of player j goes to minus infinity because this is only the evolution, the free evolution, not the, the, the evolution of the system. Then we are going to see what happens when the evolution, the free evolution um, hit the border, the boundary of the, of the domain. So the first result, the results that we can say in, in the case of AI strictly greater than AJ, is that when x0 is in the interior of the feasible domain of contribution, at first, the trajectory of contributions lies in the interior. And when lying in the interior, the contribution of player i and the total contribution are increasing. The contribution of player j can increase initially and then decrease uh, and we call this phenomenon overshooting. And when the trajectory hits the boundary uh, of a feasible contribution, with one of the player constrained to contribute nothing or her endowment, the trajectory converts also monotonously to the limiting uh, steady state. And the speed at which this conversion occurs depends on the inertia parameter of the player whose contribution is not controlled. The, the speed of player i depends on the inertia of the other player. We can see uh, what happened in this uh, graph. This is uh, the, the graph, uh, this is x, um, the contribution, of, uh, the evolution of contribution of player one, player two. We consider here an, uh, an example where player R begins in X0 that equals to zero and player two in one half. And this is the evolution of uh, the free evolution, but as, as we know, the evolution hit the border and when they hit the border, they convert to the steady state. Here, uh, this is player one, the free evolution goes to infinity. Uh, I'm sorry, here uh, W1 and W2 are equals to one. And the, the steady state is one, uh, one half. And we can see that this is, this is the free evolution of player one. 
This is the free evolution of player two, but when hit the border, this is the, evo the, the evolution of our program for player one, and this is the evolution of player two. And we can see that here we have an overshooting of player two. At the beginning, player two contributes more than player one. Here, I want to show some sensibility with respect with inertia. Uh, always, I consider that the, the inertia are the same, but we consider different values for the inertia. When the inertia is slow, uh, we, we converge quickly to the, um, to the uh, uh, steady state here and here, and there is not overshooting. But when I, inertia is uh, big here, uh, this is the evolution of player one, and this one, the evolution of player two, and we have overshooting. And if inertia is big enough, this is the evolution of play, the contribution of player one and this one is the contribution of player two he player two overshoot and not only overshoot he contributes uh, his uh, maximal quantity on endowment or all, all the endowment in the, in the public good and then uh, um, decrease to the the steady state there is a big overshooting here and here the the, the overshooting of the uh, total contribution um, we can also find analytically uh, con sufficient conditions to have uh, overshooting in player J and in the global contribution. Here only to, 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 to show that uh, the difference in, in between the intrinsic utility and the utility of non-contribution and the difference between the social welfare and the utility of non-contribution. In this case, for all the, the time, the difference is always positive and only differ a bit uh, in, in for uh, comparing with the inertia parameters, but it's always positive. It's always, in, in our example, it's always better uh, to have the positional concern. And here I show an, another case where I change um, alpha. Uh, alpha i here is a different of alpha j. I have, I put alpha j always the same in order to have always the same steady state here. I change the value of alpha i and uh, we can obtain for the contribution the sum came of a uh, situation that when I change um, uh, the, the inertia, but what I want to see you, to show you, I'm sorry, is that what happened with the utilities. At the steady state, alpha is such that we have in this situation, this is a welfare reducing, it here is welfare improving. When I consider the global utility here is a welfare, uh, intrinsic welfare uh, improving, also here, uh, but not for this value of the parameter alpha that is uh, small, but we can obtain uh, positive that uh, that uh, that um, positional concern are, are positive at the beginning, and we can obtain Contribution. contributions uh, are positive at the beginning. Um, oops. Now I, I consider the case where both um, which amount are the same. In this case, I remember that the static uh, Nash uh, problem uh, give us the multiplicity of equilibrium in such a way that the sum of contribution is equals A. Um, here we have that uh, in the dynamic case, we have that both sequence of uh, contributions are monotonous. 
they are increasing if the initial condition is uh, smaller than A and decreasing if um, uh, is greater than A. Uh, this, uh, and this sequence converges to some X star uh, that depends on the initial condition and on the inertia parameters. And of course, this point lies in, uh, in, uh, in, in this line. And moreover, uh, in the, uh, all the points of the interior trajectory lie in the in a strike in the striped line which joins x0 and x star i think that is better in this graph uh, here to situation this is the line of the, the static nash equilibrium uh, here we say we see that we begin in this point uh, 14 uh, 14 the this is the the, the the limit uh, of the sequence that is, uh, lies in the domain of, of the problem and uh, the, the, the evolution is, uh, follows this line. Here, another initial condition where uh, the free evolution is not, the limit of the free evolution is not in the, in the domain. So when it hits the, this board, we continue to uh, till the, a steady state of the problem. But in this case, all the trajectories are monotonous. These are the trajectories of uh, this case when we begin in this point. This is the con individual contribution of player one and this one, the player two. And the other way, this is the contribution of player one and this one is the contribution of player two. Well, uh, Yes. Uh, some conclusions uh, in the static framework, uh, we characterize the Nash equilibrium, equilibrium for an additive separable public good game with positional concerns. In particular, we show that the equilibrium is driven by the position of which amount of the player and their endowments. And we analyze the consequences on contributions and social welfare. In the myopic dynamic fra framework with inertia, we completely characterize the evolution of the dynamics and we give some properties of monotonicity and overshooting in individual and, and global contribution. And we have the idea to make a lot, a lot of extension. And the first one that I like very much because we have uh, make some computations from in the moment, uh, we, we ask the same uh, question in the case of the two players, but now uh, one player is positional and the other one is conformist. The, the, the player we, which is the definition of a conformist player is an, a player that gets uh, joy from doing like others. And in our model, this is introduced by I, uh, adding, adding uh, the CTDT from deviation of the other players, uh, of the other player contribution of this uh, form. Uh, and we have analyzed the, steady, uh, the static case, and now we are dealing with the dynamic case. But coming back to this uh, two positional uh, problem, uh, we can consider, we can add to the dynamic model another dynamic, you know, not to consider the, the, the sum of contribution in the public good, if not the stock of public good. So to add to the dynamic problem, like the, the stock of, the, of, of contribution and put it in the, in, in the intrinsic utility function. Of course, we deal with a myopic uh, situation uh, it will be interested to consider facilitated uh, agents and to deal with a true dynamic game. Also, we can add uh, more than two players. Uh, the idea is to add also pro-social agents. Of course, here we consider the, the public game, uh, public game um, application, but we can, can consider environmental application uh, like um, Hassan and, and Long have made in their paper and, and the positional concerns in the common pool resources problem. Uh, thank you very much.